This is a Lego Legolas minifigure, and here's all Lego The Lord of the Rings minifigures, which look breathtaking, but there's always room for improvement. So today, we're taking a look at the top 10 upgrades you can apply to your Lego The Lord of the Rings minifigures. Now let's get into this video. Do you know Samwise Gamgee? Well, if you don't, I wouldn't know what to say, because he's a legendary character from The Lord of the Rings. The minifigure from the Shilob attack set is sick, but it's missing something. In the movies, we can see Sam carrying the junk he and Frodo need on their journey, but LEGO never made a backpack for him, so naturally, we need to add this backpack piece to Sam in order to make him movie accurate. I think it improves the figure, so try it out for yourself. Moving on to another member of the Fellowship of the Ring, I always thought it was weird that the LEGO Legolas minifigure never had a quiver included. I do understand because it's impossible with the elven hair piece. Nonetheless, I think it's necessary for the elves of Tolkien to have a quiver on their back. There are many elven minifigures and even within the LEGO The Lord of the Rings video game, Legolas has a quiver on his back. So let's add it. Here we go. So it's as simple as that. You can easily add a quiver to all of your elven minifigures if you move the hair piece a little to the left. Personally, I like the look way more and I think they look much more accurate to the movie. But let's move on to the next minifigure. We've taken a look at the Fellowship of the Ring, but let's switch it up and go 60 years back in time. Thorin Oakenshield is one of my favorite characters from The Hobbit. He's so cool. I also love his shield in the movie, and unfortunately, LEGO never made this. I mean, they only included a sword and an axe, which doesn't fulfill my needs. Therefore, I took it upon myself to make an Oaken Shield for Thorin. If LEGO doesn't make something, we gotta make it ourselves, boys and girls. And even though I like the way it looks on him, it looks a bit strange to be honest because it's just a couple of pieces piled together. But let me know what you think and let's move on to the next figure. Do you remember the names of the dwarves from The Hobbit? Well, I wouldn't find it weird if you don't. There's Thorin, Fili, Keely, Dwalin, Balin, Biffer, Bofer, Bumber, Dori, Nori, Ori, Gloin, and Oin. And this last dwarf is interesting because he uses this horn. Quite a funny character from the movies, and I always wondered why Lego didn't include a special piece for this horn. So, Lego didn't create it, and I'm gonna go and recreate it. I mean, it's small, but it's certainly a fine addition to the minifigure. Now, let's move on to a cooler upgrade. Most of you probably love Uruk High or Orcs. Well, let's first take a look at some upgrades you can give your Orc army. The Orcs of Mordor are epic minifigures, and I love all the variants Lego included within their sets. But I think the figs are quite similar, and as a result of that, I bought a bunch of different weapons, armor pieces, and even hair pieces to upgrade my Orc army. You can add some breastplates from the Uruk High to make part of the army armored, create some archers, and add different hairstyles so Orc army does include some form of fashion. And last but not least, remove this Urg High helmet and replace it with any type of castle helmet because it would be lazy to include the Urg High helmet. It's just reusing that type of piece. <laughs> Moving on to the Urg High, there are many things you can already do with the accessories you get from the sets themselves. But one thing which is not included is the crossbows you could see within the movie. I remember being so inspired to order some of these from Pick a Brick and adding these to my army. Additionally, you can use this banner with the White Hand of Saruman sticker from the Tower of Ortank set to recreate this epic banner for your Urg High army. It just makes it look complete, and in my humble opinion, it's one of the best things I ever came up with in 2013. Lastly, the Uruk High hair piece looks a bit weird, so I would recommend shaving Keely's hair off and implanting it on one of your Uruk High to make them look cooler. 
So we travel to the movie where it all started, The Fellowship of the Ring. In this movie, Frodo and his friends go to the Prancing Pony and meet a figure in the shadows, Strider. The minifigure for Aragorn looks phenomenal, and I wouldn't change a thing about him, but I would have added some stuff. In the movie, he has a cape and a quiver on his back, so we're gonna add that. Now Aragorn looks a lot better, right? I think this small change makes him look way cooler, and it's quite simple to do as well. Next up, we're gonna take a look at a scene from The Return of the King. More specifically, Peter Jackson's cameo where the pirates of Umbar sail on their ships. I always thought this scene was interesting, and I loved the way all these pirates looked. Naturally, when I heard the pirate ship ambush was gonna drop in 2013, I got hyped to own some of these pirates. But strangely enough, Leko decided to only include one pirate of Umbar, which makes no sense to me. Therefore, I still own one pirate of Umbar, but I want to get more, and if you own more, I would recommend adding different hair pieces to the pirates. Gandalf is, as I believe, the most beloved character from The Lord of the Rings. Everyone likes him, and if not, you shall not pass! Gandalf was released too many times in the sets, but with this high quantity, we can see LEGO never really focused on quality with Gandalf. While LEGO included lots of these figures in sets, they never updated his weird staff. I mean, it just looks like a regular walking stick for people who go hiking. So why not add a different mold or just a few pieces to make the staff look better? Now I also added this hair piece, but I wouldn't recommend doing it because it's an illegal building technique. <laughs> One thing which always annoyed me is that LEGO never made a decent minifigure for Lurtz. Look, I'm not complaining by any means, the minifigure looks sick, but I would have preferred him in his armor because he doesn't look good naked between his comrades. So all you have to do is carefully remove the arms, add them to an uruk high torso, and also add his head or keep it off like in the movie. And voila, here's Lurtz who can now fire some arrows at Boromir with his bow. This figure is a must have, but I can't say it enough that you need to be careful with your Lurtz minifigure because brown Lego tends to break very easily guys, so stay cautious. Aside from these 10 customizations, I have a bonus one for all of you. It's quite strange that LEGO never included the small dagger with which the Witch King of Angmar stabs Frodo on Weathertop. So when I set up this scene, I usually add this smaller dark metallic sword to the Nazgul. So now with this small change, he has the proper weapons. So these were some simple upgrades you can apply to your LEGO The Lord of the Rings minifigures. And I believe some of these are absolutely fantastic to add to your collection. If there are any upgrades I missed, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll give you a massive shout out in part 2 of this video. Now if you did enjoy, you must watch this video on the screen right now. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.